How to understand controls of a helicopter. Greetings, people. Today, we're going to teach you how to understand the controls of a helicopter. So let's start. Steps to understanding the controls of a helicopter. First, before learning how to fly your helicopter, it's absolutely essential to familiarize yourself with the helicopter components and controls. Second, it's important that you read your individual aircraft's operating handbook. Third, here are some of the basic controls you'll need to know to operate the helicopter. On the left side of your seat, you'll find the collective lever mounted on the cabin floor. At the end of the collective, you'll find a twistable grip called a throttle. In front of your seat, you'll find a stick known as the cyclic. There are two anti-torque pedals at your feet which control the tail rotor. Fourth, it's important that you stay aware of the helicopter's capabilities and limitations. Fifth, know the limits of the lift of the rotor of your helicopter and what it can provide when you maneuver. Six, operate the collective control with your left hand. Seven, if you raise the collective, it will cause the helicopter to rise above the ground, and lowering it will make you go down. 8. The collective is responsible for changing the main rotor's blade angle. 9. Always remember that you have to increase the engine speed as you raise the collective. 10. Decrease speed as you lower the collective. 11. You'll use your right hand to operate the cyclic control. 12. The cyclic is similar to joystick, but is very sensitive, so stick to small movements with it. 13. You'll push the cyclic forward to move forward, back to move back, and to either side to travel sideways. 14. The change of direction is not dependent on the cyclic, but it does cause the helicopter to tilt forward and back, which is called pitch, or to the right and left, which is called roll. 15. You'll operate the tail rotor pedals with your feet. 16. You'll use these pedals to control the direction in which the helicopter is pointing, similar to the rudder or yaw pedals of an airplane. 17. If you want to swing your nose left, gently increase pressure on the left pedal. If you want to swing your nose right, gently increase pressure on the right pedal. 19. The yaw is controlled by increasing or decreasing the force that the tail rotor produces when yaw pedals are pressed. Note. This is just a guide towards understanding the operational controls of your helicopter. This doesn't give you any authority or certification to fly an airplane or helicopter. It's highly recommended that you go through proper training with your instructor before flying. In the next video, we'll teach you how to take off and land your helicopter. This is it, guys. Make sure you go through all these steps thoroughly before getting on a helicopter. Share with us your experience in the comments section down below. If you like the video, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.